Hello everyone, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to look at something just a little bit different. Now, those of you who watch the channel regularly will know that I am a bit of a geek when it comes to gadgets. And the Toby Eye Tracker is something I've been looking at for a while, but just for one reason or another, I haven't got around to doing anything about it yet. Now that all changed last week when Toby dropped me a note and said, would you be interested in showing off the Toby Eye Tracker 5 and how it works with Farming Simulator? So how could I say no to that? So we have got an Eye Tracker 5. We are going to unbox it. We're going to see what comes in the packaging. We're going to get it all hooked up and set up for FS22. And then we're going to dive in and have a little bit of a play and see what difference it makes. And I, for one, am pretty excited about this. So let's jump into it. Right, here is our box, rather nicely packaged. As you can see there, you've got the device on the front. On the back, we've got a few instructions and highlighting a few things. We have got there a couple of infrared illuminators, either end of the eye tracker, but I think where the magic happens is the eye sensor and the eye chip in the middle. So let's pop this open. Let's have a look inside, shall we? So there it is. And there are those two infrared sensors that we just talked about there. And I think this is where the main eye tracker brain is. So again, I think something like this. Let's lift this out. Uh, it's connected there. So let's just lift that out. Get started. There's some sort of pack here. Let's uh, empty this out. How very elegant I did that. And let's see what we get in the pack here. So, a few instructions here. Obviously, if you're connecting it to a laptop, there's a certain procedure there. But we are going to be doing this one down at the bottom. We've got a curved monitor. So it's going to be interesting to see how it works with a curved monitor. I think that's one of the things that people are slightly concerned about when they buy one of these, is that will it work with a com uh, curved monitor? And the answer is categorically, yes, it does. This is the mount that goes on the bottom of your monitor. There's some heavy-duty uh, sticky back plastic there with some Velcro attachment as well, so you can remove it if you need to. This is a, a metal strip here, which is magnetic, and I believe... connects to the eye tracker like so. So we'll mount this on our monitor and then we'll attach the eye tracker to it. The other thing that's nice to see here is a USB extension cables. You very rarely see these, but obviously they've considered that this could potentially be a long way from your computer case. So nice to have that included as well. We've also got some uh, cleaning wipes here to make sure the surfaces are clean. And we've got a couple of additional metal strips here that are sticky backed so you can mount them elsewhere. So nice to have a couple of extras of those if you use two computers. So there we go. Not much in the way of instructions because I believe when you plug this in, it sets itself up automatically. So let's move on to the next step and get this all set up. Okay, we have just fitted, you probably can't see it very well there, but you can see the mount there has been attached to the bottom of the monitor. Now I should just be able to attach this with the magnet. Let's make sure the cable is out of the way. That should just find itself mounted just there, and there we go. All set up. Let's get the cable plugged in. Let's see how we go from there. Okay, it's taken us to this page now. We need to set up our display. So we'll go through the setup process here. I'm sure you don't want to see all of this. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll get this set up. And then once we've done this, we'll jump into game. Okay, that's us in Farming Simulator now. Now, one last thing we need to do is go into our options here. And we need to turn on head and eye tracking. So we've done that now. Let's load up a game and see what happens. Right, here we are finally in game. Now, you will see that I am just using mouse and keyboard as per normal here. In fact, I've got another vid setting set up here as the camera in the top corner there. So you can see me. Um, you can see just here the infrared of the Toby eye tracker in front of you. Now, like I said, when you're walking around the map as per normal, you don't get anything, but look what happens when we jump into a tractor. So we're in tractor now. Um, again, 
nothing moving but let's go in cab and straight away you start to see that I am now moving my head around this is not done by a mouse this is purely the Toby eye tracker looking at where my eyes are looking and following it now let me just pull the camera up again there and give you a little bit of a demonstration so um, I'm gonna move my head a little bit now so that's me blinking it's making it shake but look getting the idea as I look round the corners of the screen where we're looking now I can also look by just using my eyes I'm looking down at the minimap down here at the moment I'm looking up at my money and the date in the top corner there and the time and then we're back to central so very cool I really like this the immersion is uh, is kind of nuts really so what I'm gonna do now is uh, go for a little drive let's see how we get on it feels really 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 good I've got to say now we have got a little bit of caching here because this is a new game save that I started on this but I love the fact now that I can look down there and look here yeah, there is a car coming I can look the other way no cars coming there and now I know it's safe to pull out it's kind of cool now I have got this set up on 50% as the uh, initial setup has it uh, so it's the default setting but uh, you can adjust that make it a little bit more uh, reactive if you want to just have a look at the combine as we go past it there I really like this this is uh, this is very cool I am a fan of this indeed there we go um, it just adds another level of realism to the game and you know I am a big fan of the realism side of the game it really does for me make uh, things feel like you're actually immersed in the game and not just pushing buttons on a keyboard or whatever so from that perspective I really like it uh, nothing going on down there now you can turn your head quite far back there's a point at which it kind of falls off as you can see just although that's turning it that way I can look behind me as well without losing track of the uh, without losing track of the screen so that's quite cool um, now they have a very cool thing as well um, I'm just looking down look that's me looking down at my uh, my sim dash there now if I turn this on they have a thing called ghost and now you'll see in fact I'm gonna come off my uh, uh, camera vid there so you can see the full picture but now they have a tracker that not only follows where I'm going when I'm driving my movements but you can actually see exactly where my eyes are looking so I'm looking at the fans in the middle there and the air conditioning out of the mirror now at the side there looking down at the minimap looking over at the speedometer there it's uh, it's very cool it's very cool now it, it does work very well in low light conditions as well because it's infrared doesn't need a lot of light for it to work and uh, like I said I'm on a curved monitor as well uh, and there has been discussions in the past that it doesn't work as well with curved monitors I think it's working fantastically well so there we go um, that is having a little bit of a spin and a trash let's jump back and have a look uh, in the combine as well because I think the bigger the machinery even better this could get so let's head back to the farm now we're here in our Deutz combine let's fire things up and let's roll forward just looking at the corner of your headers and making sure you're hitting your rows is uh, kind of nice it feels really natural to be able to turn and look just left of center of your wheel rather than moving your mouse to check things out I really like this it's certainly something I will absolutely play with when I'm in cab this is uh, this is fantastic really nicely done it's so unobtrusive on your desktop as well it just hides underneath your monitor and you don't have anything to do to worry about cables are all tucked away as well it's a really really clean bit of kit I have to say quite impressed with it now I'm looking down at my keyboard there which is that jerky movement but now as I turn 
I can look out of the side window and judge where my uh, reverse point's going to be. Things like that. It's quite good. I mean, it does feel very, very natural. There we go. Back into the row. And again, just watching this edge here. I've left Ghost on as well, so you can see exactly where my eyes are looking. But we are watching the edge of the row there. We'll jump out at the end, actually, and just see how accurate we've been and if we've uh, left any on the field, because that can be a bit of an issue when you're driving in cab and you haven't got anything like GPS on. I've lost a bit there, actually. But I think right up until the end there, we were doing pretty well. Let's, uh, let's just jump out and have a look. Yeah, of course, back out of the cab. We are moving around with keyboard and mouse as per usual. So just a little bit at the end there. But right the way along there, not bad. Look how straight that is. So it does, I think, make things a little bit more accurate when you're driving. So a lot more easy to follow than with a keyboard and mouse or... To a lesser extent, a steering wheel, but definitely uh, that accuracy definitely helps a little bit more. Eye coordination, depth of field, I think, is improved as well. It makes it feel like you've got that spatial awareness a little bit more, which is uh, really interesting. I didn't think it would be able to do that, but it's really done it well. Uh, I like it. Finally here, we'll just jump in the pickup, have a little drive around in this as well. Again, we've got uh, lots and lots to look at. While we're driving along, check for cars coming each direction. We're looking good. Get out and head along the road here. So there's a mixture of head movement. I, I seem to find myself moving my head for certain things, but equally, um, I can look around with my eyes uh, without moving my head. So it all depends on the type of movement I'm doing. It's almost instinctive. So, for example, I come to a junction, I tend to turn my head to see if there's anything coming the other way. But if I'm just looking down at my dash and stuff, I'll tend to just use my eyes. And it works It works equally as well with both. So really, really good. Let me just turn the ghost off again. So you've got the option to uh, turn that on and off, should you wish to. Uh, that's the second piece of software that you can install to have the ghost tracking as well. So. Again, something if you want uh, the people that are watching you to see exactly what you're looking at, um, they can do that. Or alternatively, you can just run it as I'm running it now. And uh, there we go. So there you go, folks. That is the Toby Eye Tracker 5 in Farming Simulator. And I have to say, just adds yet another level of immersion. If you've got a steering wheel already, if you've got other peripherals like uh, joysticks and things like that, this just brings it on another level. If you're into really realistic gameplay and enjoy that immersion into the game, this is, uh, this is a great addition. At the moment, Toby are celebrating SimFest as well up until the 6th of March and they're offering an additional 15% off the base price of the iTracker 5. Now, remember, it's not just a farm sim edition as well. This will run on over 170 other games. So definitely a worthwhile investment. But for now, from me, I hope you enjoyed that. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. I'll try and get you the answers if I can. Um, we'll probably play with this a little bit more on streams in the, in the coming weeks and months. So uh, we'll get stuck into it there as well. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it interesting. And again, great to see another little bit of technology that helps bring the game even more to life than it is already. So, for now, from me, take care, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.